Hello Capricorn, welcome in, it's Laura from Tenacious Taurus Twin Flame Tarot and this is going to be your monthly reading for September. Keep in mind Capricorn, timing and energy is still fluid. This reading could play out at any point in time. This reading may or may not be for you. This is also for any major Capricorn placement, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So I do ask that you only take with you the messages that resonate, leave behind the rest. If this message does not resonate, I do encourage you to check your other signs and placements. There very well could be a message in another reading for you. Before jumping in with the cards, I want to talk about uh, what messages came through in meditation. I was kind of shown somebody playing with some tarot cards. And so I kind of feel Capricorn. It's time to brush up on your esoteric skills. It's time to get practical. So maybe improving your work and your home life, maybe thinking about um, a business venture of some sort. Um, Capricorn is a cardinal leadership energy, so I feel a Capricorn collective taking charge of their life. Where can you improve your work-life balance? Where can you improve upon your spiritual skills and maybe turning that into something where you can make some money with it? So. Let's jump in with the cards, Capricorn. See what other messages need to come through for you. I am going to start off by using um, the Astro uh, Star Codes Oracle deck. I think um, some transform transformative energies in the month of uh, September for many of my Capricorns. So we're going to see what needs to come through for you. Yeah, I think you're expanding upon uh, some collaborations. Maybe it's time to collaborate when it comes to a new business venture, a new creative idea of some sort. Uh, but let's see, let's see what the guides, the ancestors in the universe has in store for you for the month ahead, Capricorn. I do appreciate your patience with me getting these out, but I wasn't able to get them out prior to September with, with the last two weeks uh, of the kids home from school. So, Ooh, Pisces energy, Capricorn energy, and a trine. So this is feeling really good. Ooh, bottom of the deck, the Venus energy, beloved. So uh, there might be a divine connection trying to come through, a deep spiritual connection trying to come through, and maybe there's some underlying simmering tension that is going to need to be addressed, maybe around this full moon the Pisces energy. So I feel you're super attuned uh, to the energy in and around this moon cycle. So you could be dealing with a Pisces, but I feel uh, stepping towards achieving uh, a spiritual union of some sort, a mystical union. Interesting with a beloved. So uh, you could be the divine feminine or you could be the masculine wanting to go towards a divine feminine, but there is a deep spiritual beloved connection coming through and uh, your energy coming through loud and clear you could be dealing with pisces i feel uh the trine is a very uh a very harmonious aspect i feel a lot of spiritual presence around you capricorn and i think you're getting ready to step into some great achievement i think you're getting ready to step into a divine union of some sort with somebody uh coming to the end of a cycle completing a major cycle and I think um, emotions are blooming, is what I want to say. Blooming emotions. The energy is fertile. Fertile for a union to come together. So let's see what else needs to come through with the tarot. I'm going to do a 12 card, a 12 card, a 9 card spread. I was looking at the Pisces energy and I had the 12 on it. Pardon me. A 9 card spread. And uh, we will clarify uh, as need be uh, to kind of see what's going on here. So let's have a look, uh, Capricorn, and see what other messages need to come through for you for September. What else does my Capricorn collective need to be aware of? So let's see what we got here, Capricorn. Transformation. I, I felt that as I was shuffling uh, the Astro Oracle. Ooh, walking away from drama. All done battling with your ego is what I'm feeling. Oh my gosh, an awakening. So gaining a new perspective. Maybe there's a Capricorn here that was just so stubborn, was unwilling to change, and somebody is awakening to see a situation in a whole new light. I think maybe somebody was playing with uh, conflicts, opposing opinions here, 
all done fighting. I, I'm giving up the fight. I think maybe there's a Capricorn here that is about to experience a significant life change, a powerful, unexpected uh, change in order to break somebody free from some old beliefs. Mm, page of Pentacles in reverse. Nine of Coins. Seven of Coins. So uh, something, tan something tangible. I think you've waited a really long time for an offer to come in. I feel a Capricorn that's that's very much single, um, that's been waiting for somebody to come in with an offer. When it comes to some wish fulfillment, ooh, somebody's gonna be uh, revealing some emotions quickly, quickly coming in. Get ready for an unexpected uh, arrival. An unexpected arrival. Maybe somebody's been secretly pining away for you, uh, secretly dreaming of, you know, having you in the reality. And I think maybe in the past they just didn't invest. I feel there's resistance to maybe uh, starting a new cycle in love. I think we've got a Capricorn here that's been single for many years, maybe up to seven years. And, and we know how hard it is to be single and enjoy your own energy to let somebody into your life, especially if you're afraid that they're not going to add value, right? But this is going to lead to wish fulfillment. And I think somebody has been secretly pining away for you as you go through developing your intuitive gifts, as you go through enjoying the fruits of your labor, I feel it's time to plant some new seeds. It's time to invest in a brand new cycle and somebody's coming in very quickly, very unexpectedly. Get ready for an unexpected arrival. Could be with an air sign, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or Pisces. More Pisces came through, but I think somebody's been going through a period of healing, going within, uh, gaining those insightful uh, downloads to allow themselves to make a decision. I think somebody maybe has been going within for maybe up to four years and they're ready to release this mental exhaustion. I think somebody's finally ready to make a decision when it comes to planting some seeds. I'm ready to build a foundation is what I just heard. Somebody wants to come in loyal, dedicated, and protective. And I feel a Capricorn here that's very much apprehensive because I think maybe you've been alone for a long time. I think within nine days, or nine weeks, uh, somebody's going to be swiftly coming in with a love offer. And they're coming in with a plan. They've been thinking about this for a long time. And maybe in the past, they weren't ready to invest. Maybe they were mischievous in the past. Maybe they weren't ready for this new opportunity. And maybe you had some more work to do when it comes to enjoying your solitude and getting grounded in a state of inner wholeness so I think you've been very patient and it's kind of time to release unnecessary worry I think you're all done uh, fighting with yourself about what it is that you really want what is really worth your time I also feel maybe somebody in the past received poor advice, received poor counsel, maybe was over-reliant on uh, some tarot readers. But I feel this energy of coming out of solitude. This is going to be a magical time for you, Capricorn. I do feel that. And I do think in the past, maybe somebody just was not ready to emotionally invest. And maybe this led to uh, a missed magical opportunity. I think uh, maybe you had a lot of passion for this person and uh, they were closed off in the heart space. I think they've been hiding their well intentions to come forward with an offer. Maybe somebody here is going through an emotional breakdown, could be dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, but I feel uh, there's a masculine going through an emotional breakdown of some sort. Wow. It feels like everything in this masculine's life is crumbling to the ground. Everything is coming to a dead stop, needing to get his emotions in check over a missed opportunity. And I think get ready for something to come full circle. If you were treated unfairly in the past, get ready for a karmic rebalancing. Get ready for an unjust situation to be made right once and for all. And get ready to receive a message. Oh yeah, get ready to receive a message. I think somebody's been uh, watching you, really not communicating. The sword is down. 
um, really trying to figure out how to come in and write a past wrong because I think maybe in the past somebody wasn't coming from a place of integrity and they weren't devoted, they weren't honorable. And I think you're you're cautious. You're cautious about letting somebody in again. I think you're kind of like ready to cut through anybody that tries to mess with you, Capricorn. But I think there's going to be a lot of passionate communication back and forth. Uh, there's going to be an epiphany that gets somebody coming towards you is kind of what I'm feeling. So let's take a look at this awakening. The hanged man Pisces energy. Let's take a look at this awakening because I think there's going to be an unexpected uh, revelation. And uh, something might be coming back from the dead. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, Queen of Wands. Aries Leo Sag, we get the death in reverse, the fool in reverse, so scorpionic energy, Aries energy. Yeah, I think in the past there was an opportunity for a fresh new beginning, and it was going to be like completely clean slate, fresh beginning. And somebody made a foolish decision. Now they're feeling like a sacred clown, they're feeling like a fool, and something I think is coming back from the dead, something that I think ended in the past that you never expected to come back to life and somebody wants a new beginning with you. I think they're looking at you as brilliant, talented, passionate, independent, uh, maybe a little bit controlling. <laughs> but uh, I feel somebody really underestimated your ability to build a solid foundation for yourself. And I think somebody has really been playing into their fears uh, when it comes to not uh, valuing a connection here is what I'm feeling. And so I think get ready for something to come back from the dead. I also feel maybe in the past there was resistance to this spiritual transformation. And now somebody is going through an awakening. Because I feel like this stubborn energy of I'm not going to change. I don't want to look at this. I think you mirror reflected back to this person everything that they lacked. And, and I think uh, they're really trying to find balance in their life because I think somebody's looking at you as this is my dream come true. So you very well could have some fire in your chart. Yeah, and I think uh, somebody wants to come forward and uh, manifest success with you, but they're definitely lacking the strength. They're lacking the strength. I think somebody was a coward in the past and, and really wasn't able to come forward for this new beginning, but now... Now they're paying attention. They've been waiting for the perfect timing to come forward with an offer. And let's take a look at this page of coins in reverse because I feel there was an excellent opportunity to work well with somebody, but I think somebody uh, snuck away in, in another direction. I think somebody definitely uh, had some sneaky behavior before, maybe because of a social circle that they were connected with, with the Seven of Swords. There was definitely some fuck shit going on here, Capricorn, that led to a missed opportunity is what I'm feeling. And it could have led to something very beautiful. Um, so I think, you know, in the past, maybe somebody just wasn't honest about what it is that they wanted because they were confused. Um, and I feel, uh, I think, uh, yeah. Or maybe because they, they weren't grounded, they weren't stable, and they didn't really have much to offer. Maybe because in the past they had a lot of options. I don't think they have any options left. I think they're running out of options. Um, and I think uh, you're dealing with somebody very ungrounded, very unstable. Ah, oh, man, king of coins reverse. So this is somebody that appears to have everything going for them, but really they ain't got a pot to piss in Capricorn. You're dealing with somebody to uh, maybe that, you know, doesn't really have anything to offer. Maybe um, you might be dealing with somebody coming in and asking you for some help after an embarrassing secret comes out. So you might want to be cautious. You might want to use your discernment. I think somebody's coming in because they've run out of options. But I feel uh, there's clarity. There's going to be some truth revealed about um, maybe some thieving of money. This might be a complete withdrawal from somebody that just can't get their emotions in check to maybe you're feeling like you made a foolish decision and maybe it's you coming into seeing something in a whole new light and you're like, no, nah, I'm taking back my, my power. I'm taking back my strength. I need balance in my life. Maybe you're going towards being single. 
Maybe you're the one quickly departing a situation, coming to terms with realizing you've spent a lot of time on this foundation and there's really no growth, there's no financial rewards. I think you've been patient with somebody trying to get their shit together too. I think you maybe been thinking about going in a new direction. Um, is this really your wish come true is what I wanna ask you, Capricorn. I think you need to have faith. There's definitely an embarrassing secret coming out, a secret coming out for sure, and it's going to lead to either an unexpected departure or arrival, but something here is not just. Something here is not right. Maybe you've been digging a little bit deeper into this person and you're coming to realize like, hey, maybe it's time to call it quits. Maybe it's time to bring this to a dead stop. Could be dealing with a cancer. I think maybe there was a lot of passion at first and now the spark is gone. There's no spark. There's no passion. And I think you're, you're rounding completion of a life accomplishment here. Going through a period of spiritual enlightenment. Let's take a look at this Knight of Swords because this is the outcome. So uh, divinely guided communication, an unexpected uh, sudden shakeup. Yeah, a realignment. Yeah, I think you, you've been in a situation here where it's felt hopeless. I think you've really, really tried to make something work. You're, you're the type of person where you don't want to give up on people that you love, but I think uh, it's hopeless here. I think, um, I think you know, you've, you've lost faith in the future. I think you're coming to terms with maybe this is not my wish come true. I can't see the light at the end of the tunnel here. And maybe it's time for an exchange. Uh, maybe it's time to choose another pathway. Twos are decisions, crossroads, partnerships. And and I see somebody here really not emotionally invested, really doesn't have any uh, financial security to offer. And maybe you've been the one going within and you're finally ready to come out of that contemplation. You're tired of feeling mentally, physically, and emotionally exhausted. And you want somebody loyal, dedicated, and protective and... And I think there's going to be a realignment because I think this is a burden. I think it's creating health problems. You've been stressed. There's no balance in your life. And it's kind of time to make a conscious release. Wow. Feeling foolish. This is not what I asked for. This is not what I prayed for. This is not my wish, my wish fulfillment. It's hopeless. It's hopeless. I think there's going to be a change uh, that will bring an end to these challenging times and something is about to come full circle. I think you should be proud of yourself. Let's take a look at this High Priestess Reverse because there's going to be a revelation or some secrets revealed that will lead uh, to the breakdown of a false foundation. Yeah, there's going to be some truth. Some truth about some third party interference. I think there's gossip. I think there's drama. I think people are talking about this situation behind your behind your back. I think there's going to be a cancellation of an engagement. And there's going to be a breakdown of a false foundation. Because I do think maybe this person is connected to you only for the money. Because they really don't got a pot to piss in is what I'm feeling. And I think you're getting ready to leave somebody out in the cold. And ain't that the truth. Because I think it's been cold. I think you're dealing with somebody that really isn't emotionally invested it's not a safe situation is what I'm feeling. It's really not beneficial to you. I think you're like, this person looks at you as a charity and they just keep asking for more, more, more. And I think you got nothing left to give. And I think this has created some struggles around uh, some money fears. I think this person is connected to you only for financial assistance because they don't have financial security for themselves. I think this is a breakdown of a foundation that's just not working, a breakdown in a family in a family structure, and I think it's really time to communicate clearly what it is that you really want, because I think the dead central energy is you want to be alone, you want to be single, you want to you want to feel like you're you're no successful again, and I feel this person has dragged you down, and you've really been thinking about like, is it worth it? Is it worth investing any more time in a situation that has been leaving me feeling emotionally bankrupt? Because I think you want a beautiful new emotional experience and this ain't it. I think you're coming into a lot of spiritual insights that are telling you maybe it's time to move to a new home. And I think you're cutting somebody out. I think you're going to be lashing out. I think you're sick of this. 
you're angry, you're bitter, you're vengeful. I think uh, you're getting ready to cut this person out of your life because they're not serving. They're not serving your journey. Um, they're creating all kinds of difficulties and maybe it's, it's hard for you to focus on your career. I feel you've not really been honest with yourself. Maybe you've made a poor judgment call and there's going to be a huge release, maybe even divorce proceedings because I think you're ready to love yourself. I think you're going to you're going to be speaking some very harsh words. I think you're on the defense and whatever challenges are coming up, you're like I'm all done taking the emotions out of it. This ain't about the feelings. This is about the facts, the cold hard facts. And I want something more out of life. So I think there's going to be a lot of back and forth communication. And and you've been trying to remain objective, overcoming all of these obstacles that everything will work out. Having faith that everything will work out. But I just think something here is coming to a dead stop. There's no success. There's no balance. Somebody here doesn't have their priorities in check. And I think you've lacked the willpower, the strength, and the determination to get honest with yourself. But there's going to be a revelation and I think you're going to be refining this situation because you want your wishes to come true and this reality is not what you prayed for. <sighs> Let's get you a couple last messages with the crystal stone deck. This is feeling heavy. Yeah, you need to chill out and you need to get honest with yourself. It's time for you to reclaim back your power because whomever you've been with, whomever you've been dealing with, They've been draining your energy flow, and I think you're about to freak out on this person. You could be dealing with an alcoholic. I'm not sure, but I think uh, you're all done letting this, this person disturb your peace. You're done with the drama. You're letting go of the drama. You're all done. Is it worth it, right? I don't think this is really worth it, and I think you've been holding on afraid of an ending because you're not sure what that new beginning looks like and you're feeling foolish so i think uh yeah i think you've bent over backwards uh for somebody and i think you might be feeling a little broken hearted and i think you're going to be grieving a major loss in the month of september because this relationship has expired it was linked to an outdated idea of self an old belief and i think you're going to be holding your heart this month I think your heart is hurting, but you're going to feel all of these feels no matter how painful it is because you want to heal and have real love again in your life when you're ready. And so I think this is coming in like a meteorite. I think there's been this uh, dis discontent, quiet distance between the two of you, and you're finally getting ready to open your eyes. I think you've had the blinders on, and so... I think uh, you're connecting to a lot of spiritual um, energy right now, and you just want to feel aligned again. So I think, uh, yeah, get ready, because I think you're, you're finally seeing things at face value. Could be dealing with a Gemini, and maybe you've held on because of the children. I'm not sure if there's children involved or not, but the energies are going to intensify because I think this person has you believing in all of these limitations that they keep putting in front of you. And you're about ready to surrender because I think you, you this person creates self-doubt. And you're about to, to blow the lid off of a situation. I think you're done self-sacrificing. And you're about to speak up and kick somebody out is kind of what I'm feeling. You're all done with this situation because you've been feeling disconnected for a very long time. And I think you've wanted to express this for a while. And so I think... Uh, yeah, you're probably uh, ready to set those intentions and to go after the greatness that you know that you deserve. So I think uh, you're going to want to keep your cool. I do. The Queen of Swords in Reverse can be very angry, can lash out. But I think you're dealing with somebody that really hasn't been uh, speaking some truth to you and your head and your heart have been in a battle and it's, it's long past time to let go of this situation. It's long past time. And so I think you're going to get hit with a wake-up call. And I do think you're going to be grieving a major relationship loss here in order to go through uh, a spiritual transformation. And that's kind of what I got, Capricorn. I really hope this helped. I hope this resonated. If you would like to book a personal or a soulmate reading with me, I do encourage you to check out that description box below, Capricorn. And I do look forward to seeing you all again next time. Thank you.